to this is a part two of sewing with needs so in this one i'll be showing how i make the baby weaning if if you want to know how about more about knit fabrics where i got it what all things i am using all those things even the pattern i'm using it is all um, in another video which is part one and i will leave a link somewhere here before i go ahead i just wanted to show you the fabric that i got from hb sing so this is the fabric uh, this is the french terry fabric this is this is how much one kg of uh, french terry fabric was okay so this cost 900 rupees this is a uh, rip knit fabric so this doesn't have much width the other fabric had little more width so you can see it comes in a cylinder form so this is a knit machine knit probably so this is the width and i got around four meter of this this is the baby knit hat uh, band portion so, so i'm just cutting it out the pieces and fold it so it just will have one single opening now I'll just cut it along the pattern piece. You can see the other portion of the pattern. So when I'm cutting this portion, I will try to make the uh, knot portion little more longer so that it is easier to tie the knot. Uh, marking it and going ahead and cutting the fabric now I'm cutting the top portion of the hat along the lines the lines are slightly less visible but it's, it's okay for me I'm using a mandal scissors for cutting the fabric so these are the two pattern pieces that have been cut one is a band and the top portion Next, I will take the applique piece, which is a piece that I have cut off from an old t-shirt. I will paste the applique to the front piece of the hat on the right side of the fabric. I am using fabric glue for sticking the applique. Please make sure that the applique is well glued to the fabric. We can also uh, hand sew the applique piece to the fabric to ensure that it stays on the hat. In this video, I have skipped that step. Next, we will turn the fabric pieces and keep the right sides together we will be pinning the fabrics together along the edges especially the curved ones we will use the stitch number four which is called a lightning stitch for sewing around the curved edges Make sure to back stitch at the starting and end side edges of the fabric. Slowly sew around the curved edges and taking the top portion which is slow so that the sewing is correct. Here you can stop and turn and sew to get that perfect uh, stitch I will back stitch at the end of the other edge so that the stitches are not unraveled now I will trim the seam allowance to reduce the bulk when we turn the hat around okay to get a neat finish, I will be doing an overlook stitch also around the edges. I am using the stitch number 12 from this stitches palette. It is like an overlock stitch. I will also be reducing the stitch length to 4. So this stitch will be stitch just next to the seam that we have done just before. Taking the curved edge a little slower so that it comes out neat. Now 
next i will turn the top portion of the hat around carefully pulling the edge around you need to use something to push out all the edges I'm using my scissors to do that. So now once it is turned around, I will just tie the knot. You can at this point iron this hat portion so that it lies flat. So I'm tying the knot here like this. So the top part of the hat is done. This is how the top part of the hat looks. Now we will do the band portion. We will fold the band fabrics such that the right sides together and we will fill in the edges. We, we will use the lightning stitch which is stitch number 4 again to sew this band. band. Make sure to do back stitch at the beginning and end of the stitch. Next step is to press the seam allowance open using a iron. Next we will fold the band so that the wrong sides are together and the seam will go inside. So this is how it will look after folding. Now we will take the top portion and we will pin the band to the top part of the hat. So we are pinning the top part of the hat with the right sides and the band on top of it. So we are just pin the pinning. Once we are done, we will be uh, sewing the band to the top part using a stitch number 12 so now i have done that i missed capturing the video for that sewing you can fold the band in half to get a different look or you can keep it open you can see how stretchy it is so this is how i made the beanie hat and thank you for watching see you next time